when the marriage is new, you know, you're still young, you're fresh, you've just met. Lovemaking is so exciting. You cannot wait for the time of the night to have it. Sometimes you even book lunchtime dates, go to a quiet place or come back home and make sure that you enjoy the sex. Sometimes you even take off holidays just to go and do that. Enjoy the lovemaking for two weeks out there in the bushes, in the home, in everywhere that you want. But the time comes and you start giving excuses. What are the excuses that men or women give for you to know that they have lost interest in the sex they are having with you, they have lost the attraction, all the sex you're serving is stale, or they have found another sex partner outside the marriage. These are the three or four things that they will say, and it will be like a wake-up call for you to spice up the lovemaking and make it much better and more desirable for your spouse. Now, men will give this one common excuse and they will say, we'll start with the men, then we can go to, to the women and what is common to both of them. A man will wake up and, and he comes back home and maybe he's been coming back home and he's not been touching you, he's not been responding to, you know, the way you wrap your body around him and you're desiring him and uh, then when you, you, you show direct interest, he will talk to you even without even giving you so much attention and he will say, I'm tired, I've been working so hard, you know, the whole day I've been so busy, I've been working so hard and, and this is not the time for, for me to be attending to your sex needs. And the moment a man says that, it's not that he's tired, it's because he is losing interest. However tired a man is, he will always have time for sex. However tired, he will always have that time for sex. So when he says he's tired, he's giving an, an excuse. Either he's not enjoying you, or he is seeing somebody else, or emotionally he has disconnected from you. Maybe there are things that you have done and uh, he's just there with you because he's stuck with you, but the friendship is not there because uh, he cannot connect with you emotionally. So he will give excuses. And uh, when that happens, it should be a red flag for you to wake up and fix what the problem is. So watch out when a man says that he's too tired to have sex. Now, women have so many, so many excuses, but the, much of them they will say, I am not feeling too well. My head is paining, my back is paining, or my knees are paining. Let me tell you, my dear lady, by the time this man is asking you, he's not asking for, eh, to, to, he's not going to break your bones if it is your bones hurting. He's not going to press your stomach if it is your stomach hurting. If it is your head, he's not asking for your head. Actually, what he wants to do is to put you in that mood that is so relaxing that whatever is happening with your back, with your head, and with your stomach, the excuses that you're giving comes, uh, to, it relaxes so that you can be able to, to enjoy each other. Now, why do women say, give those excuses? Like, you know, my head is paining, my back is paining, and this and the other. Or the children are awake. Why do they give those excuses? The women will give those excuses to a selfish man. Hmm? If a man is so selfish, he just comes, turns the woman around, you know, uh, starts to do his job without even trying to uh, put it to her psychologically so that she, the lady buys into it, so that the body comes to accept it. Remember, the women take long to respond to lovemaking. They take so much time. The man will see, he will like, and he will hit it. But the women, you have to touch, you have to talk to her, you have to, you know, put her in the mood. Now, 
When you do not do that and you have been doing it for quite a long time, she will lose the interest. She will lose the interest. Sex will become like a burden. And each time you turn her around, she will have one excuse. I have a headache. Now, let me tell you, dear ladies, spare the men the excuses and prepare yourself throughout the day and know that this is what brought you from your father's house to come and enjoy. And again, you don't have to look at it as something that only men need to enjoy. And, you know, the, when you're getting married, the aunties tell you the man has to enjoy, you have to sing, you have to, to make sure that you please him. It's not only about the man, it's about you also. You need to enjoy it. Sex is therapeutic. You need to learn to enjoy it and prepare yourself for it so that you stop those excuses. My head, the children are awake, the neighbors will hear us. Stop the excuses and do the business and do it well. And gentlemen, treat the ladies right so that they do not have to be giving you those excuses each time you touch them. Women and men give excuses when they have lost attraction with each other. And in most cases, men will throw these uh, comments like, you, you're too fat. And then Men will throw an excuse like women will tell the men, ah, ah, you, you break me. When you come on top, you break me. Your stomach is too big. When all those things have come in place, the excuses we are talking about, it should be a wake-up call that you need to work on this marriage. You need to work on that marriage relationship either by working on your character or by working on those things that cause you to lose interest in one another. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, sex is the most enjoyable thing. It is therapeutic. It is healing. It is calming. It is something beauty for women, and it elongates your life. If we are to enjoy the sex, we will see the benefits that come with it. Thank you so much for watching and please do me a favor by liking this video, by leaving me a comment on the topics you want us to address or specifically if you want to contribute to this video and subscribe if you have not subscribed before or if it is your first time. Thank you very much. Go through the whole channel, look at all the other videos. Blessings.